Hey everybody, Fishman here, welcome to another video. In this video I hope to uh, clarify some of the details I've been trying to get to this week. Uh, in Wednesday's video I had built a, a multi-chamber but single layered box filter. And I got a lot of good comments on it and I'm going to try and get to some of these this, uh, in this video. Uh, hopefully I can straighten out as much as possible. Now, this is going to be, uh, again, the same kind of build. It's going to be a multi-chamber, but this is going to be uh, a layered one. It's going to be a box outside this box. And before I get to all that, uh, there's one thing I want to show you here, and this is a piece of offcut. And I mentioned a little while ago I wanted to uh, build a crosscut sled, and this is kind of the reason why. Uh, this piece was pretty much perfect size. I only had to trim a little bit off, and so I ran it through the saw, but you can see uh, little scrape marks on there. And because this is just going to be the bottom of a filter, I didn't really care. I'll just use that for this, and it'll be fine. Uh, but if I'm going to use up a number of those offcuts, which are piling up, I really do need to uh, build that sled. A number of people mentioned on Wednesday's video, why not have the water go uh, down through the poly wool and then into uh, whatever lava rock biomedia you want to use underneath that. And that is actually a perfectly legitimate way of doing it and actually a preferable way. The thing is, when you're trying to get water to flow a specific way, uh, all right, let's, let's use the example of a canister filter. Oh, here, by the way, what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to uh, sand this off with some 400 just because I want it to be a little bit smoother for uh, when I put in and take out the, the top layer of this. So in a canister filter, uh, you can have way more than two, two layers. You can have three or four, and I think I once saw one that had even more than that. But the difference between a canister filter and air-driven filters is if you have an impeller and no air in it, which is what canister filters are, they're just water, and then you can actually have greater ability to force water to go through something. So you can have a, a great many layers. What air-driven does is air does not force water to go anywhere. What it does is it gets it flowing. And let's say it encourages it to go in a, a certain direction. But if you have any kind of real restriction, uh, anything like a really dirty filter or whatnot, uh, the water simply is not going to move. Uh, the, wa the air will go up, it'll churn the, uh, air, the water in the pipe around a little bit, but it doesn't really create enough suction for uh, really dirty setups. And that's the reason why there's only going to ever be you know, two chambers on something like this. And that's the other reason why uh, a single uh, chamber one actually will clean a little bit better. But th that said, uh, there are uses, like I said in the first video, for uh, doing multi-chambers. I mean, you can have uh, the media here uh, not disturbed when you uh, clean one of the layers. Like the t Well, the top one's most almost always going to be the one with uh, your filter wool and that sort of stuff in it, the, the one that's going to be need to be cleaned the most. And the bottom one's just going to be more biomedia, but even that's going to need to be cleaned once in a while, unfortunately just not as frequently. So this filter is going to sit, uh, these two boxes are going to sit like this, and then these add-ons here are going to keep that box filter uh, aligned properly so there's no real gap between the two and the water flows where I want it to. As a suggestion uh, was brought up on Wednesday's video, what I could do here is uh, instead of making the bottom of the top box out of one eighth, I could have made it out of one quarter, and then I could have run a bevel on it, or uh, like put it in the milling machine and then uh, thin it down enough that it will sit exactly inside this. And that is actually a really good way of doing it, and my actual preferred way of doing it. Uh, but this is the easy way of doing it, and I just wanted to show that you don't always have to use, uh, you know, fancy machines to get these things done. Uh, this will do exactly the same thing. Uh, these guides will prevent that uh, top box from sliding back and forth and give you a good seal between the two. Now you notice that this one here and the one that's going to be on the opposite side are thicker. That's because I want the holes uh, to have like the holes on the bottom that you see on the, the tower there to the left I want there to be a, more of a gap of air there sorry gap of water there so that this uh, will allow more flow up that side and then the ones on the uh, on the other side where there's no holes 
I'm making it thinner just to restrict the flow there. It's, again, not really necessary, uh, but it just keeps everything centralized more, and that way I get water flow from both sides. So this is going to uh, go together pretty much identical from this point on. Uh, you'll notice this uh, box down here, uh, the bottom one, has no holes at all in it. And that's because uh, I don't want any uh, water to uh, go anywhere else. It's just going to go... Uh, so water is going to, with air, is going to go right up the center pipe, and that's going to draw water down into the media. Exactly as was suggested by a couple of people, that is actually the preferred way of doing it. And I guess it's kind of cheating a little bit that I didn't do that with the first one, the single air box filter. But that was trying to make a box filter as simple as possible. Literally just a box with holes and air going through it. And also, because of that design, I wanted to make sure there was enough uh, flow around the biomedia uh, to make sure it was uh, always stayed aerobic that way. Anyway, I'm going to show you all these at the end. I'm going to show you how they all worked. And if someone has a... Uh, if you think this is a little bit unfair of a way of doing it, in other words, uh, the other one stage was not getting um, a <laughs> fair showing for this, uh, just leave a comment below and I will uh, put together a quick one stage uh, single layer box filter. I'll run it on a tank and I'll just add it in as a clip on a future video if anyone's actually interested. So this is how this is all going to sit down. This is going to slide down and it slides in pretty good. You'll notice it's still a little bit tight. I don't like making these things too loose because you know if it wants, <laughs> once you get too big a gap they just don't uh, like the water doesn't go exactly where you want it to. So there you go, it's uh, sitting properly. All that does now is just go inside uh, the tower, then there's gonna be a lid on top of that, and then that's uh, pretty much it. That's the, the pretty much the whole build here. What I'm going to do is uh, add media to this. Again, it's gonna be the same style. Actually, I'm gonna be using exactly the same media that was in the other one. Uh, there's gonna be lava rock in the bottom here, and then there's going to be uh, poly wool on top of that, and I'm not going to again. I'm not going to add uh, any other material into this at this point. Uh, later on, uh, depending on how this goes, actually, I think this particular filter will go onto a client's tank. I have one that's uh, uh, air driven that could use a better box filter, so it's probably going to go on that, and uh, we'll see how that works uh, uh, full term <laughs> or long term. So here I am trying to fit this in. Now I may have to put a little bit of a bevel on those brackets. It is a little snug getting in, but I don't like doing that initially because I find these things wear and you know six months down the road it could end up being really quite loose and I don't really want that at all. The other thing I found was kind of neat when I went to charge this with the uh, lava rock in the uh, single stage ones, like the one, uh, the first one I made of this, it was, uh, it was fine. The pipe went down, the rock went around, it was all uh, easy. But because there's actually extra length of pipe now, and it's going through two layers, I found that actually the lava rock, when it's packed in, like that binds a little bit. And I didn't really notice it at the time, but the pipe wasn't going perfectly straight up the middle. It was a, there was a bit of a tilt to everything. You'll see that when I uh, set it up here at the end. So here's the build. It's, uh, this is perfectly fine here. There's nothing in it, so it all, it's all good. And I'm going to stick it in the tank in a few minutes, and we're going to see how it works. As I mentioned earlier, beveling the bottom of the top layer, if I put a quarter inch bottom on this, it would look a, make it look a lot cleaner, uh, and, but I would have to put a guide somewhere in it, so it would have to be actually in the very bottom or something, uh, just to keep it out of the way. But in the long run, this is all going to get dirty. I mean, it's a filter. It's going to get covered in algae. It's going to get uh, layered in gunk. And uh, it, in the end, it'll always, you know, look to be a mess. So I guess it really doesn't matter long term. So here, I'm going to stick this into a tank. Uh, but first, I want to show you, this is the filter, the tank that had the Japanese filter on it. And remember, it looked really cloudy and disgusting. Uh, well, this is, I put the, the single uh, chamber box filter, the double layered one up in here. And as you can see, it's nice and crystal clear now. Now, this is a tank that I had that, uh, that filter came from and it was nice and clear I put this on it uh, this is the single layered double chamber box filter and as you can see it's all cloudy it's not horrible but and it is you know it is working but not nearly as well 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this out, of course, and I'm gonna put in the two layer one. And as you can see, the two layer one uh, got it nice and clear in a few days, and that's exactly what I hoped for, and that's unfortunately the kind of thing I need. As you can see there, it's just slightly askew. The internal box is just uh, at an angle, and that's because of the lava rock. It just, I wasn't really paying attention, I guess, when I put it together. I just wanted to get together and get it running, and as you can see, it's uh, just a little off, but it doesn't affect the flow at all. It actually works quite well. And this is the original one, just to give you a comparison. Uh, this is uh, how it looked before all this stuff got done. This is the double air uh, single chamber box filter. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. And I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.